Welcome to Young's Kitchen. Today we will learn how to make no bake cheesecake fruit tart. This dish will impress any of your friends and family. It's great for any special occasions, birthdays, or any holidays. Let's check out the ingredients. Hi guys, welcome to Young's Kitchen. Today, we'll make cheesecake fruit tart. Check it out. Let's check out the ingredients. And the ingredients you need are Cream cheese, sugar, milk, vanilla extract, heavy cream, strawberry, jam, and puff pastry. And you also need rolling pin, parchment paper, and a tray. And don't forget your fruits. You can have any type of fruits you like. And in order to make the fruit tart, you need puff pastries, and it comes in two sheets. Once you open it, it has two sheets and it's frozen. Let it sit for a good five minutes. Let it come to room temperature and then you're able to open it. Now your sheets has come to room temperature. You can open it like so. And go right ahead and put some flour on it and start rolling using your rolling pin and just roll it out you roll your puff pastry dough out go ahead and reshape it into your pie like circle shape here I use a fork to poke holes right in the middle so it doesn't puff up in the area where I'm gonna put my fruits and don't forget your parchment paper go ahead and put it right underneath the dough and the sh the trade finish preheating your oven go ahead and put your dough in there and use 300 degree for 15 minutes once it's done, it should look like this. Let it cool for a good 20 minutes or 30 minutes. And once your puff pastry has come to a room temperature, go ahead and use your strawberry jam. You can use any type of jam. And use your spatula to spread it evenly. And what this jam does is it gives that extra taste to the fruit tart and also keeps the puff pastry nice and crunchy. Next we work on the second layer which is the non-baked cheesecake. Here I use about one and a half cup of cream cheese. and one fourth cup of granulated sugar to add one fourth teaspoon of salt and it's totally optional here I added a little bit too much so just one fourth teaspoons go ahead and mix it well it does tend to be really hard at first but once you mix it really well it gets softer and give it a little test see what it tastes like. If you're not satisfied, go ahead and add another tablespoon of sugar. And once you're ready with your non-baked cheesecake, go ahead and spread it over the puff pastry.
And now it is time to assemble the fruits. Remember, you cannot go wrong with any patterns, any type of fruits. Just go with it and have fun with it. And of course, don't forget your fruit syrup to glaze on the puff pastry fruits. Here I use the fruit syrup in the can. You can add OJ to it, but I didn't have any. So I use strawberry jam. You can put this in the microwave to heat it up or cook it up. Don't forget your one tablespoon of sugar as well. Put it in a pot, let it come to a boil. Once it's done, go ahead and put it in your bowl and let it come to a room temperature before you use it. And it should look like this, nice and cool. Once your syrup has come to room temperature, go ahead and use it and glaze it over your fruits. This coating will keep your fruits nice and shiny and also fresh. If you're done with your fruit tart, if you want to make it fancier, you can add your whipped cream. For more information on how to make homemade whipped cream, go ahead and check out my next video on homemade whipped cream. And there you have it. Delicious homemade non-baked cheesecake fruit tart straight from your kitchen. Thanks for watching everyone! For more, please subscribe and like my page.